Hi guys, good morning. It's time for another illustration. Can I ask you all, where are you putting your trust today? Are you putting your trust in your job? Well, you know, during this coronavirus thing that's going on, people are losing their jobs. Are you putting your trust in your bank account? Well, the stock market is crashing. Are you putting your trust in relationships? Nothing wrong with relationships, but relationships can end and they do end. If you're putting your trust in anything of this world, anything that can be taken or shaken, I promise you, you will lose all hope and eventually you will lose uh, your faith, your hope in this world. You'll find that things of this world just cannot fulfill you. So I'm here to tell you today that your trust needs to be in Jesus Christ. Look at the word trust. The tr word trust begins and ends with the cross. Do you see that? Your trust begins and ends with the cross. It has to be, your trust has to be in what Jesus did for you. He came to this earth, okay? And he died for your sins. He died for you. He died a horrific death. He took on the sins of the world and he did it for sinners like us so we could be forgiven by our Father in heaven, so we could be redeemed, so we could have salvation and one day, one day be home for eternity with our Father in heaven. Okay. So why did Jesus die? He died for, he died for us. Guys, I want to tell you, if somebody gave their life for you, do you think they'd have to love you to do that? Do you think that somebody would have to, to have to care about you, to die for you? Would you put your trust in somebody who says, listen, I'll give my life for you. Try to find a friend. Try to find a, a boss. Try to find an athlete or a movie star or somebody famous that would die for you. Try to find it. You won't. He died for us, guys. And if you look at the first three letters in the word trust, how do you pronounce that? It's true. It's true. And I'll tell you, if you continue to follow this world and you continue to strive after fortune and fame and recognition and power, I'm telling you that you, your happiness, your contentment, your peace, your joy will rust. See the word rust, R-U-S-T. What does rust do? Rust can eat through metal. And if you put your life and you put your hope and, you, and everything into this world, I promise everything eventually will rust. Everything you buy, every new car, everything, every piece of jewelry, every, everything you buy ultimately just turns to rust and then to dust. If you give your heart to Jesus Christ today, all you have to do is say this simple prayer, which I'm going to say with you in just a minute. You see the last two letters in, in trust? Well, that's the abbreviation for saint. You will become a saint. Can you imagine being a saint? What is a saint? A saint is somebody who gets on their knees and they say, Jesus, I can't do this without you. I am broken. I am lost. Jesus, I need you. I need you. I repent of my sins. I ask the Holy Spirit to live in my heart so I can turn away from my sins and walk towards you, Jesus, towards the cross. Say this simple prayer with me right now. Ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Dear God, I pray right now, Father, that the person listening to this would go to their knees and they would say, Jesus, I am broken. Say, Jesus, I am sorry. Jesus, I have sinned against you and I have sinned against God. And today I ask your forgiveness. Help me, Jesus, to turn and walk away from my sins. Today, God, I ask that the Holy Spirit would come and live in my heart. I pray the Holy Ghost would fill me with discernment, with peace, with joy, with contentment. I pray, Lord God, that I today would give everything over to you and I would become a servant to my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Today I ask you, Jesus, with all that I am, I cry out to the heavens that you would come, you would live in my heart, you would forgive me, help me turn from my sins, God, help me to turn to you. Help me, God, to realize who you've made me to be and to live this life in fulfillment for you and to have the free gift of salvation that can only come through giving my heart and my soul to Jesus Christ. We pray this in your name. Amen.